I'd like to introduce Andy and Tanner for, from Pixitope to everyone. We'll, do, uh, we'll have a visit with PRG after we hear from Pixitope. Thanks, guys. I want to start off by saying a uh, very special thanks to Framework as well as uh, XR Studios. Can we, everybody just give them a big hand? Uh, absolutely for hosting this event. This has been wonderful so far. Um, my name is Andy Smith. I'm a regional sales manager for uh, Western North America with Pixitope. This is Tanner Woodward. Uh, he's our sales engineer, amongst uh, many other things. Um, uh, I just want to go through just real quick uh, a little bit about us. Um, so Pixitope uh, was founded in 2013 as a virtual production uh, company. Um, uh, we did a lot of creative work then. Uh, we switched over to uh, developing our own software out of uh, 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 a show that we did called Lost in Time based out of Oslo, Norway. Um, and in 2019, we successfully launched uh, Pixitope 1.0. From there, we uh, grew uh, from what was known as the Future Group uh, to rebrand ourselves as Pixitope Technologies in 2021 which then brought us to, in 2022, acquiring a company called Trackman, based out of Cologne, Germany. Um, that's just a little bit about us, a little bit background. And in 2023, uh, now we've got uh, cloud, mobile, as well as uh, a few new markets that we're branching into. A little bit about us, uh, our why, why we exist. Uh, you know, uh, all video-based content will eventually have uh, visual impact and high-end feature films combined with uh, the connected and scalable nature of online content and the immersive and social experience of video games. Virtual production will become the mainstay technology that enables these new types of experiences and will become indistinguishable from media production. Our why is to make virtual production more accessible. Uh, we see uh, a community being built, and uh, we want to drive uh, to build that community even deeper uh, and broader. Um, media creators will need reliable and sustainable platforms uh, to build their business on, uh, as well as software in replacing both appliances and professional services as the performance of choice. Here are a few of our customers. Uh, as you can see, we've got a few here listed. Uh, CGLA Studios right here in Hollywood. Um, we've got Silver Spoon Animation as well as the Famous Group as uh, some of our uh, creative houses uh, that use Pixitope. Um, and uh, most recently, of course, uh, Riot Games, Butcher Bird Studios based out of Glendale, right here in this area, ESPN, uh, just to name a few. And now I'm going to hand this over to Tanner so he can dive a little bit into our solutions uh, and a little, expand a little bit more on our why. Thanks, Andy. Um, yeah, like Andy mentioned, my name is Tanner Woodward. I'm part of our sales engineering as well as our solutions and kind of technical support team. Um, so going through our solutions, we offer a number of different kind of diverse solutions that will basically be powering VP and allow our users to be as creative as possible and as flexible as possible on site. Um, a lot of this work comes from our kind of wide, our diverse partner set that Andy just mentioned before. Like he, like he mentioned, Famous Group, Silver Spoon, PRG. A lot of our customers that we value highly, we couldn't be here if it were not for the, some of the amazing work that they've done. Um, as you can see here, are some of our augmented reality samples, our virtual studio samples, and our XR samples, which is kind of the, the latest addition into the Pixto platform. We were, we were always doing XR before, but now it's fully integrated into our software selection. So here's our total portfolio that I'll go through. Let me just move this a little bit closer. There you go. Um, so Pixtope as a virtual production platform consists of these two hierarchies, right? Graphics and now tracking. The, in the graphics pipeline, you can see Pixtope VS and AR, as well as Pixtope AR and Pixtope CG, which we'll be introducing uh, later in 2023, slash early, maybe perhaps early 2024. Um, these make up our graphics pipeline as well as what you can do as users to expand your virtual production workflow. The tracking side consists of four main components that you can kind of use interchangeably as well as use them um, independently without, as, as, as you would need. The first being Pixtope Fly, which is strictly through the lens, which I'll expand upon. The Pixtope Marker, which uses retroreflective, retroreflective markers to be able to determine its position in the studio or environment that you have the, the tracking within. Uh, Pixtope Vision, which is personally one of my favorites. Is, 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 it's a unique approach that uses both marker and IR, I mean marker and real world feature points to simultaneously create, locate the camera no matter what environment you're in. 
So whether you're in studio or if you're outside or if you need to use a combination of both, moving the camera from a marker, marker position over to where there's more real feature points that it can triangulate and locate its position from. And then we have Pixel Vision, which is with Ghost Track, um, a partnership with Megapixel and Row that utilizes the, the Row panels with a Helios uh, processing system to put in panel markers that we can then track off of within an LED volume space. So going through the graphics first. So Pixel VS and AR Edition um, provides our, a full tool set for virtual set and augmented reality rendering and the software, software license are, are available in subscription or in permanent form, um, as well as in event form as well. So what's unique about our approach to virtual production is that we are in, in, entirely cloud-based from our graphics platform to our tracking, tracking platform. So all of the licenses can be issued on the fly to any machine, to any user. You can have an admin that runs, that runs all, of the, all of the licenses that you need. So if you keep machines back at HQ and you need to send them out to certain jobs or, or around the world or wherever they're needed to be, you can assign licenses on the fly as needed per show. So this helps you save down shipping, it helps save down any kind of you know, in transit dongle based mechanics that might happen with, the, with, the, uh, with, the, with those physical dongles and allows you, like I said, to be flexible on site in production, to bring in new engines if something fails or to basically just keep production rolling and not be bogged down by a physical licensing system. So some of our key benefits it's it, of our Pixtope platform in the VS and AR world is that it's an intuitive UI. It streamlines the use of the Unreal Engine render pipeline. We stay, we stay as, as current with Unreal as we're comfortable with to ensure that stability of the engine is that it's our, our foremost, is one of our foremost priorities. Ensuring that, that things aren't breaking, that things aren't going down, that, that we just keep production running. So we, we, we're currently at 5.1, uh, matching with Unreal. Uh, we have no proprietary hardware, so it's off the shelf, so you can completely build your own engine as needed. We, have, we provide a multitude of diverse spec sheets that you can then reference to make sure that your machine is, is performing as optimally as you require it to be. Um, it's multi-threaded process, so multi-threaded to process video separately for higher quality and lower latency. Uh, full video pipeline control, high quality software keyer, that's all in, in engine, in software, so you don't have to rely upon any externals if you need. We do accept external keyers without issue. Um, but we do have that internal one if that's if you need to have a more flexible approach to keying your keying your graphics. Uh, single talent tracking for AR without sensors. So th so we have the ability to track a single single subject on on stage without using any kind of sensors or without using a witness cam, just strictly through the lens in software. Um, asset and project synchronization between engines. So the ability to add assets to certain projects, be able to push those changes live all within a centralized asset hub within Pixtop software itself. So you're not having to reload or reassign assets as needed per project independently. You can master control them to be able to push them all live as, as needed per engine at once or separately and divided. Um, di full diagnostics view, so you can see your ne network and connection, everything that you need, how engines are performing. Um, failover mechanics, so that you can make, like, like I said, keeping uptime and keeping productions running. Um, health monitoring, kind of going along with the diagnostics, ensuring the machines are running effectively and safely. Our XR edition, as I said, was one of the latest additions to be fully integrated into our Pixtope platform. Um, it has a comprehensive tool set for setting up and rendering to LED volumes and includes all the functionality of your VS and AR license as well. So, you, so one XR license not only gives you the ability to render to XR and have those, the control and functionality that you would expect, but it also gives you the, the virtual studio and the AR as well. Yeah, you seamlessly combine multiple virtual production techniques, like, yeah, set extensions, AR elements, um, you know, allowing you to be as creative as possible and not limiting you based on the software or hardware, right? Build your own, build your own engines, adapt engines you already currently have or machines you currently have, load a license on there and, and get to work. One of the key, uh, another, yeah, key benefit of the XR edition is the, our auto color matching feature. So pointing the camera at the wall and clicking a button initiates auto color matching process to create a LUT for the wall and the AR set extensions that matches. So a simple pro it's a simple process that allows you to, like I said, keep things fluid, keep things not looking as natural as possible within your environment. Input switching, so switching between cameras on the frame with different perspectives on the wall based on tracking data of the new camera for multi-camera XR with set extensions, right? So being able to input switch live, be able to get the perspective that you would expect while still maintaining the fluidity of the actual perspective of the wall shifts in the, in the frustrum. Digital twin is one of the a feature that we've adapted using our tracking system that we, that we acquired. 
And this is done by using, our, using the sensor to then, we, we first, the first step is we take the wall and we throw up basically pre-calibrated panels onto, onto, the, onto the wall that matches the exact dimensions, the exact pic pixel pitch, the exact ratios and, and dimensions of your wall. And then we use our tracking sensor to then just basically rotate around the wall to scan. And what that does is it, is it automatically creates a digital replica of your wall, so that cuts out your alignment time and it saves you costs, saves you time, saves you money, and saves you a headache of having to go through a manual alignment. Yeah, we also have the, the SMPTE time code, um, simplified sync and mapping, so no, you're not using in-display nodes, so you don't have to have control and render nodes. Um, each engine operates independently, so you can have, assign it as a control and basically use that as also rendering to the wall. Um, this, yeah, this gives you ability to map specific engines, um, to the screen and it's all completely frame accurate. Tracking. So Pixel Fly, as I mentioned, is our entirely through the lens solution. And what this is doing is it's, it's using machine learning to analyze the environment that the, your lens is detecting automatically. So any camera, drone, um, you know, dolly camera, it's cable cam you know, cable, cabled camera, anything like that that you, you can use now in an environment without having to use a witness camera to track and build your point cloud. You can do this all independently, just with I said, whatever your camera sees, it will detect. And it, and it does this by looking for basically points of contrast and feature points for it to tether onto or anchor onto, lock on, and basically lay your, you set your origin point all within, all within frame, and you can just run your tracking from whatever camera without being tethered to a witness cam. We also offer 3D living photo, which is volumetric photo AR. Uh, photo perspectives that change the, the, the camera movement. You know, so you, you utilize a turntable, um, photographic capture of the photo subject to then you know, add movements, add uh, dimensions, and add you know, quality into your uh, living photo. So the Pixel marker and Pixel editions utilize our witness camera, and that's, that's tethered either below, above, or to the side or whatever angle you need it to view, and that's between, marker is able to look at is IR IR based and specifically looking for retroreflectives that you would put wherever you have space to put them, and it's basically and it's using those as points of of, of to not only create feature points but to tether an anchor onto, and then we have vision which utilizes a system of both, right? It's not only looking for it not only has the ability to locate those markers and use those as feature points, but simultaneously, it's using that same contrast-based detection that we talked about with, with through the lens to then determine exactly where it needs to be at all times. So if you move the camera beyond a place where there's markers and you have crossbar or truss or ceiling, ceiling tile, whatever, whatever in your environment that you need to use for tracking, you have the ability to, to track off of and not be totally reliant on either only edge-based or only, only contrast-based feature points or just markers, you have the ability to do both. And then our XR tracking is, our, we use high, yeah, high frame LED panels to display a tracking pattern um, and, and, it, like, and simultaneous video backgrounds and it requires the ghost frame as well as the row, visual, the row LED panels and the megapixel uh, Helios processors. And that, that gives you the ability to put markers in, frame, in, in panel to then detect and be able to build your tracking off of and use that without having to rely upon markers or physical feature points. Talent Track is our presenter tracking system. So with this one, we are able to do four, four presenters at once, one time, and we use that with a series of witness cameras that are located on the stage to then track people automatically as they come in and out of frame. And then this is the coming soon part is our production graphics. So our production graphics and full newsroom workflow, which we're very excited about to be announcing later this year, um, that will give us data, connect, uh, data connectivity, MOS, and automation within your CG graphics. And I can't go without mentioning our 24/7 global support. So we're very proud of this. We have about un we have under an hour response time, and we can, and we have a follow the sun mentality. So wherever you are, whatever time of day, whatever it is production that you need, we have support built into the licensing system, so that whatever you need help with, we're always available to ensure that we just keep production rolling. Thanks, guys. And now, real quick, I'm just going to dive a little bit into uh, our Pixitope education program. So Kevin Cooney uh, was quoted saying that the industry is moving at a such rapid pace that it's difficult to find talent who can creatively problem solve. We can build as many virtual production studios as we want, but without a creative talent behind them, we're at a massive disadvantage. The Pixitope education program, you know, it was developed uh, as a response to this talent shortage in virtual production. 
um, is specifically designed for higher education institutions to help enable the next generation of virtual production talent. Uh, we have several components uh, within our education program, uh, access to virtual production tools, uh, training, certifications. Uh, we have a new app called Pixitope Pocket, uh, as well as access to the industry and access to expertise. It comes with the same fundamental uh, aspects that you would get uh, in your normal uh, Pixitope uh, licensing structure uh, with a virtual uh, set as well as our AR edition uh, that Tanner has mentioned earlier. Um, as well as the full, uh, the full comprehensive tool set of our XR edition. Uh, at the heart of our development process lies the dedication to accessibility and reducing hardware dependencies. Uh, with that mission in mind, we uh, have poured our utmost efforts into uh, crafting uh, the Pixitope Graphics XR edition to offer seamless AR XR workflows addressing the challenges in XR and simplifying the techniques like set extensions uh, while ensuring high image fidelity. And then, of course, we also offer Pixtope uh, tra uh, um, uh, tracking uh, in our educational component, uh, which comes with uh, all of the tracking uh, features that uh, Tanner uh, mentioned. Um, we have partnered up with uh, the University of Gloucestershire over in the UK, as well as uh, Husson University in Maine, uh, UNCC uh, here in the States, and um, we're in discussions with uh, University of Southern California. We have training, support, and certifications um, as a part of the education program, uh, you know, we want to make sure that everyone who's using Pixitope is trained and certified. Um, you know, we're passionate about building this community for one purpose and one purpose only. And, uh, you know, change does not happen in isolation. Change happens within a community. And as we're leaning towards the future of virtual production, we want to offer our best to these young minds who are up and coming uh, in college and looking to excel in their careers after graduation. Pixitope Pocket is our, our latest addition to, to, to the Pixitope education program, uh, making virtual production education more accessible and affordable to students. Each student can now have their hands on their own uh, version of Pixitope and they have a tracking solution and graphic solution in the palm of their hands by the use of their phone where they can now go and train themselves within their dorm rooms, uh, complete assignments, uh, and also help build a community within themselves and amongst other universities around the country where they can communicate back and forth and build off of one another. Th which brings me to our final uh, point here is our industry connections and expertise. The Pixitope Education Program is quite unique. Uh, it's a bit of a unique initiative that aims to bridge the gap between higher education and the industry. It is a valuable resource for an educational institution looking to provide its students with the latest knowledge and skills in virtual production. Uh, our creative partners, such as the famous group uh, Silver Spoon Animation, just to name a couple, uh, these students will now be able to reach out to these experts, experts in virtual production to build their future uh, expertise as well as knowledge off of. They were able to rely on these uh, you know, in industry creatives, industry operators, to be able to build a better future for themselves. And with the Pixitope Education Program, we provide them with that advanced knowledge and sets of tools to be able to make sure that they're putting their best foot forward after graduation for a largely successful career. We thank you so much for your time today. Thanks for uh, sticking in with us. I'm gonna look at my heart monitor when I, wa when I walk off the stage to see what my BPMs look like now, so. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you, Andy and Tanner.